Hello there, this is uh, Nilson Lima, and to answer your question about glass material, well, you have several ways to achieve glass material. So I have made here four spheres, each one with a different aspect. So the first one here that you can see, you have the reflections, that is what you want, but it is not as good as the other ones. So let's see first why this material here is like it is, so you can understand the evolution for each one. So the basically this is the same material you have set up in your question. And here the things you have to set you see is translucent. And down here you need screen space reflections as your has it and lighting mode you need to set this this is the one you have to use for water for glass applying fogging is optional you really uh, don't need it but for the most uh, applications it is fine because we are talking about glass if you could look at uh, a glass cut you see that uh, uh, it, that is some kind of fogging uh, along the material in fact this has more to do with thickness than what we would call a fog itself and the fog in here is just helps it is better for water so uh, we have we will leave this setting as it is you can try later a different one okay so this is the only thing you have to set nothing else for having these reflections be sure to have uh, your skylight you need to have a skylight a, a directional light you see that I have a sun here it is uh, in the scene and the problem with this glass material is it's hard to see the edges why uh, this is happening this is happening because in the material you have a fixed opacity and, and this is not true this is like good for a plain material applied through a plain surface but not for glass even not for water because as far you have to understand the the in a B you know but sometimes people forget that uh, uh, Unreal it uses uh, uh, the physics behind the, the, the light behavior so for the furthermore the light travels through a dense material it means uh, for some opacity in this material the light have its shifted direction he will travel inside the material so this is what happens with glass so this second material we have just one thing changed but you well, you can already see the shape around and now you can see this and say oh this is glass okay so what's the only thing changed from one material to the other one to make this look as it is the thing that i have changed that you see that material is still the same but i have added this two-sided why that because if you uh, be sure to have set no collision I, I'm not playing right now so collision doesn't matter but when I am inside if this is uh, uh, a recipient like a glass bottle or, or something like that you, you have a, a, an inside and then uh, the material must show how it is behavior this sphere you have two sides the outside and inside so what you see here is nothing more than the material being applied on the inside of this sphere so when i inside you see how it changes oh, i am now inside so i can see a little bit about this material here and this is interesting the reflections here are not perfect because we still have things to do with our our, our material but now things start to look more like a real glass will behave so now we have uh, the light finding another surface 
inside because he can't go through the, the thickness of the glass and find the, the other side it acts like a mirror so these other spheres it's like nicer yeah it not reflects the environment as much as the other one and let's see what different from the second material yeah the only change everything here is the same as the second material and what changed here is the opacity we are not now feeding a fixed value we are using Fresnel well, Fresnel it has an exponent it to you uh, like corroded the value for opacity and it will simulate also um, a, a refraction in, uh, inside the materials so if you consider uh, a, a refraction of one it will add to one it means no refraction it will add like 0 0.04 this is basically a useful value for water okay so as it is just for now it will change through the edges of the material to the inside from 0 to 1 and you have this very nicer and you can see the borders you can see the reflections on the inside and then you still have another material it is way better One thing that I can show to you is if this is a glass and you see this image here okay we have why we can see um, any material in the world because the light hits the surface and the surface come to our eyes and if this light it reflects in this object here have to come to our eyes if it hits an obstacle like glass it should be deviated somehow and we don't have this you see this material this material is not yet perfect because it's not changing the direction from the light coming from the surface behind here so you see if you look through a glass this not will be like straight like this so you see the, the curve here and it goes down this the fourth material is already set to include this effect see the light now is having the proper deviation according to the shape of the material and also the reflections are better so what is done inside the material to make it looks like this okay let's see everything is okay here zero roughness one for metallic the same amount of color but then and here we also didn't change anything we still have the Fresnel and the Fresnel now instead of feeding the opacity directly it's now coming to an lerp and this lerp is set for what it means that the values we are having here from 0 to 1 feeding this alpha we will have the lowest value as 0 0.05 this is just an experimental value I didn't base it in anything uh, but it was something that I thought it, you make my material look uh, a nice glass material and the when you have a value of 1 feed in this alpha it will go for 1.5 and and then uh, I can't feed of course uh, a value higher than 1 to the opacity so we have a clamp it here it means that a lot of values feeding you'll be converted to one it means full opacity and if we just have made this value here we would still not have uh, this refraction occurring so what I did I did use it the same for now and this for now it uses this exponent and this pre uh, uh, reflection fraction to feed another lerp in this lerp I'm telling when this value is zero I would like to have uh, uh, no refraction at all 
and the most uh, density represented by this for now it, it is one I would like to have 1.5168 this value here for refraction is for the crown glass how do I know that you can check value for refraction on different materials using this address here there is a lot of using for information and also the formulas and, and everything else uh, Probably what you do want you wanted the index of refraction so again uh, besides this is based on real materials for artistic purpose you can fit here anything different uh, anything that you make your material look like uh, what you want another good thing in fitting this to the refraction is uh, that when you are inside uh, you you also see the distortion being applied that is like cast a curvature from from the, the sphere uh, from everything around you making it more believable as a you are inside the glass so this is great for representing um, like imagine a dome covering a city uh, you'd make a perfect uh, candidate for uh, that kind of glass and other thing else and you can go any further and changing this material like if you want some smoked uh, kind of glass you you turn instead of white to a more darker color here go into black and you have your smoking glass and things like that and you see it here that we are just using metallic we are not using specular yeah you could use expect specular but and putting zero in metallic but you see that you not you the same result you have to change your basic color and for some reasons you 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 can't even with the specular uh, uh, you might want to add some MC to help the specular to give the same feeling that metallic is given here for for this glass I hope this has helped you and have a nice day thank you